This is an excerpt from my novel, Paradise is Still Paradise is Still Paradise is Still Paradise. I was looking forward to living in a new city I'd never seen, in the middle of the Midwest, with its promise of higher ground. Higher ground. In French, no less, as it's a relic of French rule in North America between Montreal and New Orleans. So you can imagine my disappointment when I found it a place of bad smells of Philistinism. Even its French promise, high ground was empty because no matter where you looked, it was only flatter. The whole place failed my expectations, so I was not surprised by the general apathy of the natives. Of course, there were many efforts to build up the place and grandiose plans for creating a community. And each one was pursued half-heartedly, which ensured the low results expected. Having been there one month, I had the unfortunate experience of learning the importance of reputations. I set out to do what all young and unattached men do in a new city, which is to find women, and every place I went, the worse it got. It was impossible to talk to someone without some kind soul informing you the object of your affection was a Christian, a Republican, an atheist, or an anorexic bitch. It made everything simpler and quicker and less fun with no adventures. I began to wonder what was said about me in my absence. It seemed there was nothing to hide, nor an aspiration to be higher. Be higher, be higher. And I soon recalled that there was once some French academy or group whose purpose was to preserve and keep the language of lovers and diplomacy beautiful. Whomever these people were, they had yet to file a complaint. Uh, uh.